scouting slash tracking tips of enemy jungle and how to play around it. So first off, you want to ward slash scout both sides, so check out both scuttle crabs. Basically, you want to have a ward on the left one and a ward on the right one. 120, one, uh, one, 115 to 120 is when you can ward either one. If I know that the enemy jungler is something like Zin Zhao, Udyr, um, even Graves to an extent, anyone who duels for the, oh, Camille, anyone who duels for those and has high single target damage and can clear them quickly, I want to scout that side, whichever side I think they'll start. So Graves, Trundle, Udyr, uh, Zin Zhao, they all, uh, Camille, they all start on the red side. So I can lay a ward early there on uh, about 105 to 110 on the left pick, uh, well, left or right pixel, depending on where it is. And then for the other side, I want it to be warded around 120. Whichever side I'm not starting, I want to ward, I want to ward a little later. So that's, that's generally how you want to ward early. Which buff benefits the most slash, uh, benefits them the most? Slash is easiest to clear for fast level two. So if you have magic damage, magic damage, i.e. Karthus, Talia, uh, Eve, any of those, they prioritize the blue. They usually want to start on blue, especially because mana, mana plus magic, magic damage. The mana is an important component as well as their spells. They want to get 10% CDR so that they, they can spam their spells more. Um, a A plus A D for example happy fucking birthday yo thanks for the 15 bones 40 years old is a huge milestone go buy yourself some fucking pleasantries you beautiful sick silk skinned bear thank you Yoj. yogi appreciate you brother I appreciate you all thank you thank you everyone for the birthday wishes thanks for tuning into the birthday stream thanks for watching we're trying to go over this stuff you're too white, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, it's it's a but this this screen is white. This screen is white. It's pure white light coming at me, and I'm pale. It's a combination of it all. So anyway, um, for mana slash magic damage dealers, the the mages they want blue. For a uh, another one would be a mumu, Sej, right? Um, for AA-centric, auto-attack-centric, slash AD champs, they clear the red quicker. Because red red and blue, red buff has negative armor, so auto-attacks deal extra damage to it, and blue buff has negative MR. So Talia, her Q, is going to deal like 600 damage level 1. Shit like that, right? That's why they prioritize that. Now, secondly, what kind of DPS do they have? Single target, AOE, or both? Single targets focus on single target camps, such as red buff, Blue buff, the scuttle crab, the gromp, and then the wolves, right? Because the wolves are, most of the HP is on the mama. Whereas if they have mixed damage, they do both, but they don't excel at anything. So like, uh, the only champions that would really excel at these are once Rengar has his Tiamat, or the uh, Graves. Uh, Talia as well. Talia has very high damage DPS in the jungle. So these these ones, those are the only three you have to worry about and, and try even harder to track. Whereas if someone has mixed, such as, uh, we'll say, if someone has truly mixed damage, such as the Evelyn, because she can mark, mark the camp and charm it, dot, 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 she's going to clear a bit slower than those others, but she still, she can clear whichever camp she wants based on where she wants to path. AOE camp uh, champions such as Sejuani, Amumu, they're going to highly, highly prioritize the Raptors and Crux. Therefore, if I see that they have, uh, if I see that an Amumu has 12 CS, I'm going to assume nine times out of 10, it's blue wolves and Raptors, right? If, he, if I don't see a, a red buff on him, stuff like that, then I, I can definitely assume that it's those three camps. I can assume that the Amumu did not want to take Grump. And likewise, if I see an, a Camille who has 12 CS, nine times out of 10, it's going to be something like blue Grump or red plus Scuttle move to buff or wolves or something, right? The These single, uh, single like highly, highly single target champions are not going to take the like a kindred she's not going to take raptors it's highly highly inefficient and if she does 
you are you are drastically ahead as long as you prioritize your own good camps. Nextly, we want to know the timers for the camps. So if an enemy has 8 CS, that means they've cleared two camps and we see them on the map with that 8 CS, let's say they're, they they walk by your scuttle crab ward, your little uh, your little pixel brush ward, right? They walk in this this little AoE and it's about 2 Oh, oh, it's anywhere from 155 to 200. That means that they have they've killed two camps. They couldn't have possibly killed the scuttle crab because the scuttle crab doesn't spawn until two minutes. And the uh, the camps that they very very likely killed were the ones on well, depending on their their clear speed as a champion itself. Depending on that, the, we can say that they probably killed the the buff that's closest to this ward that you spotted them in, or maybe mid, whichever direction they came from in mid, as well as one of the camps that they prioritize. So an Amumu would have killed the blue and the wolves, or the blue and the, the raptors, if that's the one that's close to the, uh, the ward that you see, see them on. So based off of that, we can, we can track the timers of their camps, and then we can counter jungle them on those camps, or we can counter we, we can contest them on those camps if we're a strong duelist later on on the second spawn the respawn or we can go abuse the other side of the map where they wouldn't want the camps so an example would be uh, we'll, we'll bring up the uh graves right graves has uh example graves has re or uh, oh we were we were already typing that up awesome example we see graves at 153 and he has eight cs therefore he killed red and raptors or blue slash wolves based on whichever side he came from if we see him taking the scuttle crab and we are near we don't duel for it and instead path elsewhere to find an advantage there he has smite and will smite it from us unless we can come from fog. If we are on the opposite side of the map, maybe we can take one of his camps. Now, this is dependent upon our champ slash clear and what we did to prepare for an invade. So let's say I am against Graves, and I know that he wants to do an early path where he goes Red Raptors, Scuttle, and then look for an invade against me, because I'm Rengar or something. I can't be level three when I'm there in a time in a in a beneficial amount of time in order to duel him. He's going to win that. So I want to start out on that side. I want to start on the blue in order to make sure, make certain that he cannot go for that invade. Because Graves is one of the best duelists. He, he's one of the healthiest clearers, one of the quickest clearers. And he's gonna have his red buff, okay? So because I know all these things, hey, thank you, thanks for the birthday wishes. Because I know these things, Thank you, Rio Dai. Because I know all of these things, I I need to prep in uh, ahead of time. I can't just do it. I can't just clear these camps because I see them. I need to be preparing for this and preparing for this trade. So the trade that I want to be doing is I would start blue wolves. I'll clear both of the camps entirely, probably using my smite on the wolves, and then I'm going to kill three of the baby uh, baby raptors. And by this time, I will have seen the Graves. Because I know that he is down here taking the Scuttle, I'm going to clear that red buff because it's the quickest I can clear, and then I'm going to look for the Invade. He has two camps that, that uh, I can possibly lose in this time. Oh, sorry, sorry. He has, he has two camps that he can steal from me, whereas I have three camps that I can steal from him. I can steal, or uh, one camp, sorry, he has, he has just Gromp, that's about it. So what I can do here is I can invade, so he's gonna do, it's gonna, it looks like this. He killed uh, Raptors in red, and then here's the Scuttle Crab, and I killed Blue Wolves, and this is his pathing. He goes here, he's here about 140, that's when he should be leaving that. Very, very latest. 
he goes to here, he clears this within about maybe 12 seconds, so 152. He moves over here. Here's our ward, right? Here's our ward on the pixel, which sees in this little circle. So we'll see him. He's here around the anywhere from 157 to, uh, to 200, probably at the latest. And then he goes over here to try to scout. Scouting. If he sees that blue is gone, because he's wolves, uh, be wolves, because he's graves, he wants to be very aggressive. He doesn't want to waste any time when he's when he's over here scouting. He's gonna go look for the grump, he's gonna go look for the wolves. If my grump is still up, he, he might assume that the wolves could be up as well. So my timers are gonna look a little something like this. 140, same, same ish, but then it's about 155 is when this should be done. Let's use a different color. Here's me, more manly color, a, a nice sky blue, and then we go to wolves about 155 ish through 157, just based off my leash. Did I get a stack off of this this little blasting plant? Who knows? And then I start moving this way. We got the vision on him though, and I'm gonna I'm gonna kill these. Uh, we'll say a partial. We partially kill the raptors so that we get that that those three raptors and we get that bit of xp this will take up until about two uh 205 or 205 sorry to uh 10 to 2 13 ish and then we move up and we want to take the red we're going to kill this entire camp this is going to die within about 225 ish right so uh, looking at this pathing, he's gonna, uh, right here at this point, when he sees right here that the blue is gone, is gonna be around 215. So that means that I've already taken, I, I've taken those three baby raptors, and now I'm starting on this. If he wants to path up here to contest me, if he wants to take this entire path, A, we see him, we spot him, just like we spotted him here, or sorry, let's do red for when we, when we see him. Right, our, our mid laner should see him here crossing the line of scrimmage, right? Not only that, but he's gonna take about 15 seconds, a, pl a plus 15 seconds. So it's about 2.30 before he's over here. And on top of that, I have cleared, so I have cleared the, uh, we go around the red buff. I've cleared red and about 2.30, we both should be over here meeting up, except I'm level three with double buff He's level two with one buff, maybe level three. It's possible that he leeches enough from mid to get that level three. So we can, based off our stacks and how healthy we are, we can look for a duel based off what mid laners we have. And that's assuming that he, uh, now that's that's the weak path in my opinion. I don't like him doing that. Scuttle to scuttle is, hmm. What he would, uh, what the Graves is usually gonna do, right here at about 215, he starts the Gromp and he's gonna steal that. That's a, that's a steal for him, right? And he's gonna clear it. He probably has smite. He'll clear it maybe within 230, 225. And then from there, he he might move up to go check the wolves. Maybe, maybe he's slow, he's just fucking around because he is he is invading, he's in hostile territory. So he has to play a little more wary because I could be in a brush, I could be somewhere over there. Whereas I am in neutral territory. I know I, I saw him. I'm going for a more defensive clear. I can just do my clear like that because we had the ward on the pixel here. We had the ward on the pixel, uh, sorry. Pixel would be a bit more up, maybe like right there. But we, we had the wards, we had vision. So I can do a defensive clear. The onus is on him to make a play here because I am prepping, prepping to counter out his, his uh, counter jungle. Now, one thing he might do is go for blue into invade. If he does that, I have the red, bu uh, red buff uh, advantage because I can just go down into his bot jungle and steal his shit. It's uh, jungle pathing is far, far, far more complicated right now. Far more complicated. Basically, better jungler does win, assuming equal teams. Pixel equals brush. Yeah, the pixel brush is the little circular brush on either side of mid. You'll see. Uh, we used to call it banana brush. Was the longest brush. It was in mid near river, but now it, they reduced it. It's just like a little line, and then the pixel brush. So the pixel brush is right there near dragon pit. 
The other, the left side pixel brush is over there near the Baron. Use League Map. Well, I thought I was in queue. I didn't think I had time to be doing that. A picture of the League Map. This is so. This is this is our start. We start on blue. We kill wolves. These X's are camps. This is blue. Wolves. And this is raptors. Red. Here's his red. Raptors. And then scuttle, this S, this is a scuttle, right? Scuttle. <laughs> My writing is very ugly. This is this is what it looks like. When you're saying they're blue team, you should you should have this map figured out. You should know what the fucking map looks like, guys. I'm I'm amazed that I have to fucking show you guys the map when I'm explaining these things and naming each camp, you guys. Come on, come on. Anyway, our boy a monster virgin with the five bones. Have you already booked your funeral? I should. I should look into that. We're getting a. Uh, we're getting up there in years. A monster virgin, thank you for the five bones, my man. I appreciate it. So this is this is just a, a little like example of jungle pathing and how to prepare. If I know that I'm against an extremely aggressive, extremely powerful jungler early who wants to aggressively posture and look for duels and stuff and wants to fight over the scuttle crabs, I'm not gonna opt for an early scuttle crab because I don't beat him there. If we run into, if we clash, he wins that every time. So instead what I'm gonna do is opt for a more conservative jungle path and I'm going to alter my pathing based off where I see him. If I do see him innovate, he looks for an invade. He has very little to gain, and we have him tracked. We know that he has to come from the right side river. We, we know that he uh, <coughs> he has his red buff, but no blue, no wolves, no gromp. And we know that he his raptors are around the same time. So if he kill like, oh, that's the additional thing. So anytime um, we have like the same, if I know that he started two camps and I started two camps, then I know that his camp starts within a five second window of my camp that I killed. So if, if I time my wolves, which I should do, you want to, you could just type a, like you just hit enter, W, enter, and that's it. That that marks the W, the wolves camp. And so if you have timestamps on, it's going to be 155 plus 230 equals 425. That's when the wolf camp is going to spawn. And uh, looking at that, he kills the rafters around 152, right? Graves is a little faster. He's a little faster than Rengar is going to be. Even on my optimal camps, it doesn't matter. He's he's faster. So uh, until until later, once I maybe have Tiamat or a, an item or two or a level advantage, then we can keep up. But anyway, his Raptors, I can assume he does his a little sooner. So it's going to be 422. If I want to look for an invade on the Raptors, if I want to contest him, I need to make that. Uh, I need to make that that little note in my head. Was Is the Smash uh, conference done? I wanted to watch it, but I can't... Uh, gotta stream, man. Stream, stream, stream. Game looks so nice. What the fuck? Talking about uh, Smash? Smash 5, baby. Smash 5. I'll be streaming that shit. We have, we have a Switch. I'll be streaming that. We'll, 